Okay, so you may think this is silly. I'm in a full agreement with you. Okay, let's go check this last corner. It looks like this side did fine. This one got hit. Kind of hard. I guess we actually... Oh gosh, do I only have like a couple of guns here? I do. We are also starting to run out of Carbonium, so I'm probably going to want to expand. Man, I honestly did not think that I was going to uh, deplete any of my Carbonium mines, but here we are. I kind of wish there was a setting that just made all mines unlimited, just, just because. Okay, uh, let's see, so Carbonium. How, ooh, this has a geothermal vent. That in and of itself is worth coming out here for. Costs a lot of carbonium, though. Hopefully, nope, they're out. I guess I'll just be patient for a second. Uh, let's see. I'll build a, another rift gate out here. The more the merrier. Let's go back to this one. So how bad was this? Okay. If damage was sustained, it was not nearly as bad for the rest of this. Never mind. How? What? Damn. It's like something punched straight through and then got absolutely wrecked. Okay, also looks like this area has some nighttime power issues. I guess I was starting to address that earlier, and then everything went bad. Hopefully that's better. Uh, you know what? Next order of business. Really silly thing. We've got some nice bottlenecks here. I bet I can run a power node. Through this base. I can indeed. Not the best. But this area is already relatively well defended. And if this whole thing is just one giant power grid, that's not the end of the world.
Okay, so how am I doing? I uh, next order of business. I guess we gotta go back. Ooh. Okay, geothermal power plant. Oh, just let me hook the whole thing up. Why is there a tornado inside our base? Uh, gosh, I'm just gonna have to. I'm just gonna have to ignore that. Am I? No. Holy shit! Freaking tornado! A little bit punchier than I was expecting it would be. It's really bad to the power nodes, I'm noticing. Like, really bad to those. Looks like it wasn't terribly bad to everything else. Uh, but this is why somewhat redundant power nodes just strewn throughout the base are actually a really good plan. I don't think it destroyed anything else. I think it just... Yeah, it just causes damage. Oh no, it took out a lot of the solar panels. Well, that got... That was messy. Do I upgrade him? Uh, I could. I don't think if we... I don't think we had anything else there. I'm gonna figure out exactly why the hell these guys keep spawning. Because we don't have an attack for, like, another little while. Probably from this nest up here. I'm assuming there's a nest up in here. This seems like a very nesty location. No? Alright. Well, we're getting a little bit of Tanzanite. Hopefully we're getting to the point where I actually have... ...enough that I can buy a building... Up, uh, ...an equipment upgrade. Let's see. Swarm missiles. Okay, cool. So I can get the max tier swarm missiles. Let's just do that. And... What do we want? Minigun? Shotgun? Maybe. Somebody said Railgun was cool. We're going to have to wait on that one, though. Alright, so more damage, more range. Everything else about this is good. Overall double damage, and it has two mod slots. So bigger splash damage radius sounds real good. And pierce targets would be interesting, but I'm not sure if that would help me too much. I'm thinking just double splash damage. Like splash and bleed, you're right. That could be pretty good. Oh, right. Uh, upgrades. Radar Pulse would be interesting, but I need more animal biomass. So it looks like I just need a lot of steel for a number of these things. Uh, so I think I'll just wait? I know there's the plasma shield. There's also, like, a really good sword. I have apparently a silly amount of hazenite.
So I'm going to wait a little bit and we'll just go for the regen three. Luckily, I'm not in a huge position where I'm taking a whole lot of damage. And I've got plenty of... Plenty of kits. What I really need is a loot magnet. Univac is important. And I don't know why they're so resistant to adding Univac. Alright, I'm really digging these swarm missiles. They are... They do not leave many survivors. Those explosions are huge. Hello. Yeah, now, now the lag's starting to set in a little bit. I'm definitely noticing the frame rate is having more problems. I think what we'll want to do is put together maybe some secondary satellites, uh, like carbonate, uh, carbonite bases. Plus, maybe some more crystal collection things down south. Because, yeah, how much how much time do I have? I've still got an hour. That might actually be too much. I was thinking two hours was good enough, but... Uh, probably through technology, but mostly just schutzpah. I'm just monstrous. I mean, honestly, just getting and exploiting as much carbonite as possible and then, you know, having an insane insane amount of available carbonite to pull from makes such a massive difference. I'm sure on a more regular difficulty, uh, I'd run out of carbonite, like, a long time ago, and that would just kind of be the end of it. Okay. Well, on the plus side, this will give me plenty of alien biomass or animal biomass. It's everything I needed. Gosh, these swarm missiles are too strong. Okay. Uh, let's see. So let's go back here. Let's get another crystal collector down. Out this direction. We'll probably get two. Let's see, was that in game? I don't know. Uh, let's see. I haven't found any magma yet. So that's probably not that helpful. Alright, well, plus side is this time around I'm actually in the correct area so I can help. Ooh. Bad thing is, I haven't built any defenses for this. Well, I guess I'm just going to be here, Mislin Man. I don't want them getting to that geothermal plant, see if I can avoid it. This got bad. Oh gosh. There's so many. This might actually be too much, too much for me. Well, I guess I'm just going to hang out here and just try and protect what I can. I guess that side's done with. For the moment, this is a lie. Holy shit. Alright, so... 
I think the real answer here is that, um... I think re the real answer here is that this area needs an insane amount of defenses to survive. I'll try and keep it up. I think we're going to be okay. This rocket launcher is all that I need and more. I think I need a minigun, though. M maybe? Or maybe those floating mines. I don't think they actually took out anything sensitive. Uh, but one way or another, we need to focus some defenses up here because this place is going to take all of the hits that the Northern Fortress would have. Let's see, second backup rocket launcher. Problem is they all use the exact same ammo type. I'm very glad. That I actually pulled that off. Okay. I'm also very glad my rockets do not damage my own structures, as that would be truly terrible. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm never going to be able to get that bit of loot, but that's okay. Gosh, I think I'm just going to have to make them swim through this, an insane amount of wall up here. Okay. Lock that power. We could probably make a uh, a power line that goes south here. Connect this to the other base. Mainly just for convenience sake. Should probably also get the better towers at this point. I've been putting that off mainly out of uh, not wanting to spawn more enemy aggression. But I think at this point I can cope. We are out of carbonite, though. Or carbonium. Wait, isn't this like a shit ton of carbonium just sitting here? Yeah, perfect. Uh, let's see. So now we just need to wait for it to come back. Just a smit, just a smidge. Hopefully we've got enough uh, tower ammo. I got 270, I should be okay. Question, can I upgrade this? I can, it's incredibly expensive, but that's some hella power. Okay. The reason why I'm going to do this is hopefully because the enemy will just leave this section alone now.
I don't actually trust it enough to do so. But it should be a little better. And worse comes worse, this is all just something that my artillery shower, uh, towers can shell. While the aliens are distracted trying to plink it down. Let's see, how long do I have? I got five minutes before the next major attack, at least from that direction. That's usually a good sign. I could upgrade a lot of these walls, but I think I'm just going to ignore it. Okay. So, it's nighttime. We've got insane power capacity. Let's upgrade you. Long last. Very strong attack from all directions. Yay. Okay, we can get a Flamer Tower. Okay, uh, let's see. How much does this cost to upgrade? Pretty expensive, costs a lot of fire ammo to shoot. Does increase the damage and damage over time by pretty much double. Yeah, it's probably worth it. Oh. Can't upgrade it anyway. Looks like it that's actually just not uh not currently functional. Well then. Guess that makes that business easier. So we're going to need more AI cores, and we're going to need a silly amount of power. So it's probably time that we get into... Uh, let's see. It's probably about time that we start looking into... Well, we are barely losing power. Uh, uranium? It's about uranium time. Uh, let's see. Strong attack from all directions. The top right, I think, is the one thing that I'm not super comfortable about. Oh, let's get a laboratory down. That's something I know know about, but haven't actually messed with. And I'm not sure if it's going to make any kind of difference, but if it does, awesome. Okay. Ooh, artillery tower level threes are expensive. Uh, let's see. I guess quick thing I can do personally is we can do. Health bonus, health regen. Speed bonus is outside of my capabilities, I think. No, actually, that's we're pretty close. It's really tempting to go for the radar pulse, but I think I'm going to leave it. Uh, let's see, what do I need for a high-tier minigun? A truly insane amount of steel. the purple nuclear missile worse? So it looks like red is actually the best. Whoops. Well, in that case, uh, let's go back here for a second. Well, no, we don't have enough steel even if I wanted to. Alright, upgrade... I have a nuclear mine.
Okay, anything else? I can't change my appearance. I don't have any other movement skills. Apparently, I might be able to mod them later. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to just unequip these basic things. And let's... Let's... Put the machine gun on this side. Just so I have something else. And I guess I'll have the flamethrower as well. All right. That should be good. I just realized they might be coming bottom. Nope. Okay, they're just going this way. Well, in that case, looks like we're going to need to up my steel production heavily. I was kind of flipping it about it. They're flipping it about it because it's like, I currently don't see the need for large amounts of steel. And now I do. I got it now. I understand. I thought this was supposed to be an attack from all sides, but I guess I was wrong. Okay, let's go back here. I'm pretty sure... Oh, there's the other direction. Cool. Here's the steel factory. Okay, I gotta, I gotta go help with this. This, this side is not designed for this. Luckily, I am. Hello, yes, I am ridiculous. Nice to meet you. Man, the first time I ever played this, I was so weak. Today, I am a bullet hose. Oh, shoot. Hopefully that side will be able to deal with it because uh, apparently... Oh, this side actually more or less had it, no problem. Alright, back here again, I guess. Whoo, boy! I'm really curious about the idea of a nuclear mine, but I probably don't want to truck with it yet. It might, it might be RNG on a timer. You are correct. Might be a lot of different things. Okay, so let's let's repair the lot of this. We're gonna need more. And these aren't these aren't even upgraded. I don't think I can get a third level artillery tower even if I wanted to. Okay. Well, let's massively expand our our little wall situation. If we're gonna get hit hard here constantly, uh with new waves. then it seems prudent to make it um, one hell of a bulwark.
Okay. And we'll give it a couple of Sentinel Towers back here. Sell that one and get a power node right up in the middle of it. Perfect. Okay. Then two more gates. Then some more walls for good measure. How are we doing on maximum resources? We are nowhere even close to where I want to be. Let's see, can I upgrade metal storage? I can! It's... Just not... It takes a while. Uh, let's see, it takes a while and it takes a lot of stuff. Okay, so we can get up to 4,000. This is good. Let's go back over here for a second. I want to go take a look at this area. What about you? Oh, that needs water. Do we even have water? I guess I should go... Give that a look-see. Oh, do we not have a repair thing here? I, I guess not. Okay, let's let's upgrade the, the last of these AI things. That should give me enough. Apparently, I never made a repair facility out here. And I thought I'd been doing my due diligence. Luckily, they can't get through that wall that easily. Yeah, I certainly haven't seen a whole lot of water here. So I'm, I'm wondering if uh, a number of these texts are just not available. Unless it's the mud. It could be the mud. Because if it's the mud puddle, then we have a couple of those. They're pretty far away, though. I figured I'd want a quick prowl here. And see if we can find something else. We need to increase our steel storage ASAP. Uh, ASAP? I don't know. So you have a broken item equipped on your mech. I'm aware. It's that. Which is a proximity plasma mine. Just, be, just because it's not... Uh, just because it doesn't have an icon yet does not actually mean it's non-functional. Mud to the distiller building creates and sorts out the water. Got it. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm looking at the map. This does not inspire, inspire a whole lot of confidence. Uh, let's see. Let's go back here for a second. Okay, this auto repair thing is way slower than I'd like it to be. Uh, let's see, can we not get that yet? No. Okay, we've got an incoming attack.
Let's get down here. Upgrade a number of those. That should give me some more iron capacity. Uh, let's see. Speaking of resource capacity, now that this is no longer the uh, the forefront of my defenses, well, I could probably get you uh, utilize more of this space. I wanted this space originally so I could move around. But I don't have that need anymore. Uh, let's see. Cripes. I'm going to need to upgrade a whole bunch of these. But more so... How much do you need? A thousand. Boy, howdy. All right. Uh, hmm. I don't see a whole lot of pot potential mud spots here. In my immediate vicinity, which is tragic. I'm just going to put that there. That should be an easy thing. Let's check up here. Because I'm seeing an amount of iron that's just kind of chilling. But yeah, we're probably going to have to go for some of those messy eggs. Down the other direction. I was just hoping we'd have one kind of near the base. But I guess we're just going to have to make a satellite fortress. Well, it's pretty much telling me go build a satellite fortress down there directly next to that thing. Go with a very long pipeline. Yep. Ugh. Oh, did those not give me alien meat? All right, guess not. Let's see, why not put the uh, lab down there? That was going to be the plan. I just... I was hoping we'd find a mud section that had better defenses. Plus side, I don't think enemies actually attack... Uh, I don't think they will go willingly go through the mud. But this is going to be a pain to protect. 